Stability and Ethics in Washington. Melanie Sloan, and back with us is uh, Roy Seacoff. All right, uh, Ms. Sloan, let me ask you something. I mean, if he had disclosed this, if he had said, look, I've got a friend, he's doing me a favor, we're old friends, is that okay? No, then they'd have had to prosecute him for bribery. Really? I mean, yeah. can, 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 can he not, let's say it's his oldest college friend in the world, can that person give him any sort of uh, gift, do any work for him, et cetera? Uh, your old friends can give you some kinds of gifts, but if they're over a certain value, you have to clear them with the ethics committee. But here it isn't just that he was given the gift, it was that he lied on his financial disclosure forms, a form you sign under oath. Right, now that I got. I mean, it's, it's that he didn't disclose the information. I was just interested in how that works in terms of what he's allowed to or not allowed to. All right, Roy, let me ask you a political question here. Republicans have been having a bunch of legal woes uh, as of late. Since 2003, now Stevens charged here, Representative Rick Renzi facing extortion money laundering right. charges, R Larry Craig, of course, pled guilty to disorderly conduct, Bob Ney uh, sentenced to two and a half years in the Abramoff uh, scandal, Randy Cunningham sentenced to over eight years uh, for corruption, um, and, you know, and that's just the people who are actually charged. Uh, is this an ongoing problem for Republicans? Because on the other side, of course, you've got Jefferson and, and others, uh, Democrats have gotten into trouble too. Yeah, I mean, I think it does cut both ways. But that list you just read, that seems like a pretty good ad for, you know, Democrats running in 2008. I think this is a major development, though, Dan. I mean, don't forget that the, there has not been a Democrat elected from Alaska to Congress since 1974. And this, and right now, this looks like a seat that could very easily go to the Democrats. So that would be a major pickup. The, the very popular mayor of Anchorage was already ahead of Stevens. He's running on a very, you know, ethical campaign, c commitment to ethics. So I think this just helps him a lot. Yeah, uh, Melanie, is this going to open a door, do you think, to more investigations of senators? I think it really does. The unusual thing about this prosecution is it's a very rare prosecution that focused only on lying on the financial disclosure forms. Usually that's something prosecutors add on at the end of an indictment, all the bribery and honest services fraud, and then they add on uh, making false statements. But here they went after the false statements alone. That should have a lot of members of Congress looking over their financial disclosure forms and worrying about whether they need to file amendments right away. All right. Melanie Sloan and Roy Seacoff, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Okay, Dan. Coming up, still no sign of two-year-old Kaylee.